Well, uh, it is a great pleasure to welcome uh, these newly elected governors uh, to the Oval Office. Uh, they represent a wide variety of states, uh, but they all have a common interest, and that is making sure that uh, their constituents, who are also my constituents, uh, are able to gain opportunity, work hard, uh, prosper, feel secure. And uh, that happens best when we work together, whether we're talking about Democrats and Republicans and independents working together, uh, or whether we're talking about uh, state, federal, and local uh, officials working together. So uh, I'm looking forward to having a great conversation with them on how we can build on some of the progress that's already been made. Uh, this morning we had a, a great jobs report uh, showing over 300,000 new jobs created. Uh, we now have seen uh, 57 straight months of private sector job growth, uh, and uh, the most jobs uh, created this year since the 1990s. Uh, that's due to a lot of factors, but the main reason is because we've got great businesses and great workers. Uh, but what we want to make sure is that government is not an impediment, but is instead uh, uh, an accelerant of that kind of job growth. And uh, I know that all the governors here uh, feel the same way. So I'm looking forward to talking to them about how we can help on education, transportation, uh, the, the health and safety uh, of their people. And uh, my main message to them is uh, that we're here to help. The good news about governors is they usually don't have time to be ideological because uh, people expect them to deliver. Uh, and uh, that's very much my attitude going into my last two years office. So I look forward to uh, uh, having the opportunity to get to know all of them individually, uh, but also uh, to be able to deliver on behalf of their people. All right? Thank you very much, everybody.